UWM has a growing portfolio of intellectual property. We've more than doubled the research conducted here at UWM over the last decade, and we continue to grow that, that program. We're trying, in general, to get UWM technology to the broadest possible audience. Just an idea in and of itself is just an idea. Well, there was clearly a need to come up with a new source of jobs, and I can't come up with any other answer than entrepreneurship. This year, we're very pleased that T-Care Navigator has launched, in addition to T3 Bioscience. There's more and more people living in the community who are being assisted by family members. Really, it's a major health care crisis. Ted was falling all the time because he had this bad knee. It was very upsetting to me because I kept hearing these big crashes. I needed some help. What we have done is create a very systematic process that we guide people in terms of exactly the kind of information they need to gather from a caregiver. Often in my work in the past, I've been accustomed to focusing more on the care receiver than the caregiver. And what I found with T-Care in particular is that by focusing on the caregiver, you really are also affecting the care receiver. We are able to really lay out a plan that isn't working from crisis to crisis. It's made me confident and less n nervous and concerned about what was going on around me, things that I couldn't control necessarily. The more I talked to caregivers, the more I began learning about the experiences they have and ultimately started experiencing them myself as I served as a caregiver for my in-laws and my own mother. It became a passion that was much beyond research and I kind of have this mission of let's get it out there and make it available. Resistant to antibiotics are one of the greatest threats to modern health. We were able to develop compounds that act as antibiotics without killing the bacteria. With Dr. Yang's company, we're very fortunate that there are already two companies, one in the human therapeutic space and a second in the agricultural space, that are investigating these compounds. To start a company with already two partners who have an eye for the markets and are looking at developing these compounds is a great place to be starting this company. Antibiotic resistance is a serious problem, both in human and agriculture. We hope in three to five years, we can move on to clinical trial with the goal of getting FDA approval in the future. I love what UW-Milwaukee is doing. It's one thing to produce graduates, but when the graduates get out, there have got to be jobs there for them. In the beginning, you need a good idea, a good piece of technology, a good piece of science to build a company around. So UWM is positioned perfectly to be at the center of a strategy that that revolves around the innovation economy. It's a perfect marriage between academia and the business world. I, I just don't see any other answer than starting companies. Yeah.